Hi, Brent Tech here, we Tech is Made Simple. Just a quick update on KB5001330, which was April 2021's Patch Tuesday cumulative update, which for many of us caused a lot of installation problems and after installing it as well. And now apparently it is causing some more problems on Windows 10 machines. And according to new reports, the update is now giving odd error messages when um, devices are connected to the Windows Mixed Reality headsets and apparently it's also causing trouble with enterprise customers causing some DNS issues as well now um, KB5001330 uh, was originally causing gaming and temporary user profile bug issues and also the odd blue screen of death but now these two new problems with the Windows Mixed Reality headsets and the DNS issues with enterprise customers have also now recently come to light. Now, if we just head over to our settings, our update and security, and in Windows Update, if we just go to View Update History. Now, KB5001330, which was this month's Patch Tuesday cumulative update, that's April 2021, was going to replace KB5000802, which was last month, March's Patch Tuesday cumulative update, which, as many of us know, caused so many problems with printing issues, blue screens of death, and so on. Now, this update was supposed to solve and resolve the issues caused by March's update, and as many of us know, that did not happen, and this month's Patch Tuesday update is plagued with a lot of the same problems. Now, according to Microsoft, they say that this could happen when Windows Update is stuck in a bad state after the last update. So that's what Microsoft says. Windows Update could be stuck in a bad state. Now, the only real solution that I know of at this stage, and if you are experiencing problems, I haven't experienced any problems. I know I am one of the few out there who haven't had any issues with this update. But if you are, what you can do, and this is not guaranteed to work, but at least it's an option, you can go to Uninstall Updates. You just go to the bottom where it says Microsoft Windows. You click on KB5001330. You then click on Uninstall. Let it uninstall the update. Then restart your Windows 10 operating system. Reboot your PC. And then once you've rebooted it, come straight back into Windows Update. And then what you need to do is you need to pause the update because it is a compulsory mandatory update so it will just want to download and install on your machine again automatically and also what you can do and what I suggest is you go over to advanced options and under pause updates there you select a date further on down the line maybe go right to the May date which I think is around about the 12th or 13th of May for the next patch Tuesday for May where the next cumulative update will come out, which will hopefully solve those problems. Now, if you have followed all these steps and you still have one or two issues, what I also suggest then, which I recommend a lot on this channel and I have used myself, which I found has actually solved some problems for me um, in Windows 10, what you can do is you can just head over to your Start menu, right-click on the icon, and you will see your command prompt entry zero minus change to PowerShell because um, I've changed that in my settings but what you do is you just run, you just uh, run it as admin and then in PowerShell or command prompt whichever one you use just waiting for it to um, initiate what you can do is then you just type in a command SFC space forward slash forward slash scan now that's sfc space forward slash forward slash scan now and what this will do it will check your hard drive and your system files in windows 10 for any possible corrupted files that the update could have you know damaged or and you know, just changed and as microsoft says that bad state they're talking about it could corrupt some system files as you can see, you are scanning System32, which is the uh, system folder in Windows 10. And then what you do is you just push Enter. I'm not going to run it now because it takes 
about 20 to 30 minutes depending on the size of your, your, your system and your hard drive. And then what it'll do is if it finds any errors, it will tell you it found errors and repair them with a bit of a long message. And then what I suggest after that, if it does find errors, you run it again and then it will um, um, give a, a message similar to Windows found no integrity violations on your machine, then you know all is good. And what I find is this just helps um, um, repair some and um, possibly corrupted system files caused by the update, which could, not guaranteed to, but which could, um, you know, take away some of those issues you are experiencing if you had any problems installing the update. So I just wanted to update you on KB5001330, but it looks like this problem is only going to be solved with the next Patch Tuesday update at this stage, but I will keep you posted. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.